salutations. Uh, anybody that's really been listening to me, I've been talking now five and a half years, I came forward as a contactee. So something I've talked about from the beginning, nothing has changed, is space microbes. The microorganisms that live in deep space and in space. And actually how there's a war going on between humanity and some of these microbes that exist on the collective conscious level. And when I say that, we've got these projects, ones like uh, Project Stardust at home, where they drop that collagen bucket back to Earth that are full of, like, uh, dust tracks and bacteria. And you can actually try to go on that li online and look at the mic through the micro electron microscope and identify a, a, a dust track, and it can be named after you. That's called Project Stardust at home, if it still exists anyway. So little things like that and trying to mine, doing bio mining of asteroids and other planets, stuff like that, that's, that, that, that is considered war. If you go somewhere right now, let's say Australia where I just came from, and swoop up, oh, a million people, you know, and then take them somewhere else and start doing experiments on them, that's war. Especially if you're dealing with life forms that are maybe a type 1, type 2 type of civilization on the collective conscious level. We have to expand our modalities of contact, period, for this, this whole thing to work. But right now, I just, did a I just recently did a video over organic UFOs and the deep biosphere. Once again, that's dealing with the bacteria and the microorganism at the part of these ships and of the beings that are on board. Some of them may be, we have to deal with the miniaturization of contact, how some of these beings are actually on the pico scale, smaller than nano, that might be on some of these ships. And some of us are having actually experiences like that through the dream body. The dream body doesn't conform to the same physical parameters that this body does. So you may be having experience in the astral, in the dream body, with these beings that are actually microscopic. But you seem like a world like this. Anyway, so that's that's about it. I just want I wanted to hit on this and some things that this attack that these these micro microbes these space microbes have done on on against Earth and against humanity. How I think you can see it manifesting is some they're coming in on these meteor showers is one and coming in on meteors. But you're seeing certain effects I've seen over the years that made me really start thinking this. Things like the red rain that started happening a lot. You remember the red rain? It was only happened for a little bit and it disappeared. Okay, you got mad cow disease, mad deer disease, these prion type of diseases that were trying to jump into humans. So, I mean, it's things like that. And I'm bringing this up because we've got these microorganisms, some type of a war going on with them. But right now we've got certain facilities, I think, and groups here on Earth that are trying to back engineer those things. And I find that interesting, bringing that up real quick, this book here. The Urantia book, I've got problems with it, we all know that. But something it says in here, if you look at their, what they say about technically when dealing with negative forces, Lucifer and Satan, they say that Lucifer is actually far away in a prison that is orbiting galactic center. But that Satan is still moving around, his first lieutenant, and comes to Earth frequently. And um, in that way, I also will take a contrast with something I heard Ed Dame say when he said that one of their projects was trying to remote view Lucifer and Satan. He said that Lucifer was too far away for them to be able to see, but that they saw Satan here on Earth moving around some type of a cloud or something, he said, moving, or a, a being of light, though, he said, moving around, looks like almost an angel, you know, these are fallen beings of light, moving around in a, a factory, some type of industrial, that they're doing something in this, in this factory. Is that this bioengineering of something like COVID, that virus right now. That's why I'm bringing this up, these microbes. Not that that came from space, but it's something in one of these bacteria or viruses is back engineered from something that came in on one of these asteroids. So, I mean, it's just food for thought, if nothing else. But I know what I'm saying about the collective consciousness of the microbes in space is very serious, especially if we start dealing with how this Earth became populated and how um, things happened. So that's just... Anyway, I'm going too far on that. Please subscribe. Thank you very much for everyone that supports these videos. A lot of nice comments. I have much appreciation for all of you. I can't answer them all, but I say thank you very much. I'm trying to take emails. I just got that straightened out. I was getting a lot of 
spam that's getting good emails mixed up, but I've got that straightened out. So please contact me. Please uh, subscribe uh, on Patreon in here. Thank you for everybody on Patreon. Peace.